the north lava stream of the K1 volcano usually flows to the north. That's where it is. It's coming from the other side of this view that you can see here. And uh, I will pan, uh, you can see that. Uh, toward the left side is the direction that it flows usually. And we had in the morning a flow even toward the north uh, uh, east. Now, that path is closed or the amount of the lava erupting from there is so huge that the excess of it is coming toward the opposite direction of the northeast, toward the west and southwest. This is what you are seeing. It is practically forming a shield around the cone of this uh, uh, eruptive center, the last erupting vent of this volcanic system at the moment. I'm speeding up 32 times when it, when it is speeded up. You can see that. And uh, this is... A south flowing, which is toward the right, and a right flowing, which is toward the near the lower part of the center. This is the K1 on the map from the Iceland Meteorological Office. You can see that. This is the current one that I showed you toward the south uh, uh, west, and the west is flowing. We have usually uh, south, northwest, and northeast, or north northeast. This provides a comparison for us with what we saw in the Fagodestria volcano. It also had uh, different flows of the lava, creating something like a shield. Uh, it, uh, it was erupting for over six months, so it had the time for that. As you can see, it completely covered the hills around it and formed what we call as a shield. Not like the shield volcanoes that we know, for example, from Hawaii, but in this scale, it gave a support to the cone.